Hello, I'm Joey Casco, and I'm reviewing two beers from Dogfish Ed's Ancient Ale series. Both of these beers cost $15, and they have awesome backstories that you can read about on the LineStarker.net. Chateau Giahu is made from rice cakes, wildflower honey, musket grapes, barley malt, hawthorn fruit, and a flower that I admittedly can't pronounce. Sake yeast is used in fermentation, so it's hazy and amber colored. The nose is fruity and honeyed, and it smells more like a dessert wine than anything. So complaints from this camp, not existent. On the palate, it's sweet, and the hawthorn fruit takes over, but you still get notes of honey and peaches from the musket. The finish is where the rice cakes and sake yeast show up because it does finish with a sake taste to it. I liked it. I'm glad I had it, and I'm glad I liked it, and I think you should have it too, but it's a one-and-done buy, really. Uh, it'll cost you 15 bucks to drink the closest thing you'll ever have to a 9,000-year-old beer, so I say you go for it if you can. The Obroma is made from Aztec cocoa powder and cocoa nibs, ancho chilies, and annatto tree seeds. I was expecting more of a chocolate theme but it smells like those ancho chilies and like your typical delicious beer. On the palate, it's still saying, dude, I'm a beer, with underlying chocolate and the teeniest hint of honey, but the finish is warm and comforting from the tongued belly from the ancho chilies, and I love peppers, man. The Theobroma is more subtle than the Chateau Giajo, but it tastes like a beer, and I will definitely be revisiting it. It's cool for a history geek like myself, to try either either of these, but Theobroma was my favorite. If you're a history or science geek, you can read more about these beers and you know where they came from on the winestalker.net, or you can read more, read more reviews as well. So, bye bye.